Hi, my name is Alan De Niro. Um, I'm a fiction writer and poet, and I have a uh, story coming out in Blue Penny Quarterly called Cudgel Springs, um, which um, I'm excited to talk about. So it's a pretty short story for me. Um, I, I tend to work in a little bit of a longer, um, kind of a more elastic length, I guess. Um, but this one is really dependent on voice, and particularly the voice of um, the mother, which kind of literally and figuratively dominates the story. Um, she's giving instructions to her son, um, who's going to a camp called um, Cudgel Springs, and it's a, it's a camp that she used to attend as, uh, or attended once as a young girl, um, and it ends up kind of being her story while at the same time uh, revealing kind of this domineering, kind of overbearing relationship she has to her son. Um, so in the middle of it, there's there's quite a bit of flashback um, with a bit of bouncing back and forth with her, um, I don't want to say zany advice, but kind of unreal advice. So in a lot of ways, the story was an exercise, at least at first, in this voice, which um, was full of, you know, horrible <laughs> advice on uh, about wolves in the woods and, um, you know, how to eat at, at the camp and stuff. Um, but it ended up, for in terms of the revisions, um, being something I was, I was more interested in her story and kind of tried to dig deeper when she was recounting to him, um, who, by the way, he the, the son never, like, literally has a voice. Like, she um, makes comments on his, you know, countenance in, in some ways. Um, but anyway, so... It, it goes into, you know, her history, um, her um, uh, troubles at this camp, and how um, she didn't really seem to fit in. And and then at, at a later draft, kind of brought in the, the history a little bit more of this um, somewhat surreal camp itself, um, particularly a massacre that had occurred there, um, and uh, the the actual spring where um, you know Cudgel Springs received its its name, um, and that kind of becomes um, spoiler alert, kind of becomes an important part of the story, uh, of the climax of the story. Um, so it it took a, a little bit of like in terms of the revisions, a little bit of kind of like of a whirlpooling towards that, that moment, like towards the, the spring itself. Um, and, and then at the end kind of snapping back, um, towards the, the relationship between the, the mother and the son. Um, so in that sense, um, it kind of, it, it's so encompassed by, um, her voice, but, I, I tried to, um, you know, and, and the absurdity of, of her voice, because she is an absolutely ab absurd um, Bartholomean, I guess, uh, character in that sense. Um, but at the same time, trying to, trying to find some uh, weight, not only in kind of the, uh, her personal history, but also the political um, and I'm always kind of interested in intersecting those two. Um, so the, the story itself um, um, is also going to be appearing in my second story collection called Tyrannia, which is coming out from Small Beer Press in the fall of 2013. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for letting me uh, talk about this story, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy uh, Blue Penny Quarterly. All right, thanks.